Uh, this experience uh, happened maybe they they were kind of in tandem. So there was a couple days between each experience, but they were um, related, as I had seen just in what they had, were saying here. But uh, anyways, the experience goes uh, while singing the new you, uh, I was laying on my back when I suddenly started to vibrate. And within my view, I had seen that my body, the physical body was like a hollow shell. And it was as if my eyes had turned inward, showing me a shiny body made of light in the color purple. Uh, it was a clear hint that we are not the body but it is so that we have bodies like vehicles, and as they are vehicles, we can step in and out of them. A subsequent experience would come in the following days. It was a view that I seen myself standing on the beach with Duane on my right hand side. Uh, with bare feet on the sand, we stood watching in the distance a great wave coming to shore that with its sheer size, would it destroy or transform uh, much of what it touched? Dwayne and I were on this beach to face this wave rather than run from it. And as in previous experiences, I faced fear. Uh, would this training come in handy here? Not allowing the personal self to take over and become reactive, but willing to let go of the body and its ideas. Uh, the wave now on the beach and watching and washing over us, would we come out the other side unharmed in a recreated area of the beach, but much brighter as there was two suns? Not contained within the physical body, I turned left to see what became of it in the wave when, as turning my head left, Rebazar came, cutting my view off and redirecting my attention towards him, simply impressing upon me that the body is going through its own experience, but we are here now. And so, with my attention forward, uh, Dwayne said something to me which I could not recall as he lifted off the ground, flying towards this second sun, and I myself had to intently decide to fly also off the ground and go towards this uh, is shining sun. And so uh, that was my little experience. And there was a couple of things I wanted to add about it that I was seeing in that um, with this experience, uh, well, it was a very good hint that, of course, you know, we're not the body. They're like these vehicles. And yes, we can step in and out of them. So it was almost like a training that all these little experiences were training me not to be afraid to let go of the body because there was this um, almost uh, like animal instincts that to to react and run away from the wave or just kind of like cling to the body. But I had to be very still and very now and and have that recognition that I'm not the body. And so there was a lot of preparation that kind of went into this I had seen. And um, I thought it was very interesting that uh, when Dwayne had spoke to me from the right hand side, I did not uh, remember what he had said. And really what I see that is, is I didn't recognize uh, what he had said. And that when that second sun was in the sky, even though it it had that visual impression, like it was the is shining and kind of looked like the way in the pictures and it's this golden light as uh, Dwayne was flying towards it, I did not uh, have a recognition of it. And I knew that even though I didn't have a recognition of the is or I couldn't see um, or just like that, that I didn't have a clear recognition of, of the is or a complete recognition that I could still put my intent and my focus with that and I could uh, at least have that and that would be sort of uh, my journey as I sort of go towards that. So that was my experience I wanted to share with everyone. Thank you. There was a movie. It was the second one that Stanley Kubrick made. Uh, the first one was 2001 A Space Odyssey and the second one was 2010. And so I've recommended people to see that because, again, these are hints. First, it starts off with the monolith, and uh, the monolith uh, represents the unknown there. Well, in the second movie, uh, all the monolith, monoliths get together. Uh, there's thousands or millions of them, etc. And all of a sudden, there becomes two suns. Well, I saw this as... Uh, uh, a real, uh, you know, provision, or you can say symbolic. I don't really care to use that, but the idea is that uh, it's very, very real 
as to what's taking place. And it's amazing that Stanley Kubrick uh, put that out there, but that's just one idea. But uh, yes, uh, first we decide our intent. It's very, very important. We decide if we're going to have the real guidance to watch our dreams, to do whatever, you know, we have that intent. And as we go along, um, we start to recognize, we should start to recognize as you take the time to do that. Um, this was the old ideas of meditation and Paul's spiritual exercises and all that. That was to start off with this to get the person uh, focused uh, with a particular. And uh, Paul used that as an example and even concentration, but he called it contemplation. You can simply consider it, but it wasn't really defined. And so when I stepped in in 2001, I saw that, uh, you know, most people uh, that I have, if not all of them that I had uh, uh, been with and experienced in Ekankar those 30 years or so, that they really didn't recognize their intent. Uh, they had ideas. Uh, about consciousness and soul and God realization and self-realization and all these things. They had these ideas uh, and it's kind of that's kind of like high school, but they didn't really recognize the intent and how to place that because for the most part, even though as an example through Ekankar, the person is getting initiations and uh, there are things happening in the real awareness, of course. Uh, but still, uh, it's a more of a personal nature with ideas as opposed to intent, focus and recognition that becomes the difference. So practicing different techniques, etc. Again, that's with the personal self. That's like what is happening with Kevin's experiences. They're redoing uh, some of his vehicles so that Kevin is able to take on his position, you know, like a security guard. So he's going through the training and we all are of a particular as we decide. So this is where we are the deciders. This is where, very, very important because each person decides. And then we're dealing with, you know, look at all the individuals that have been on this earth that have decided to do destruction. You know, look at all the bombing and all the nonsense and what we're going through now. It's a decision and, and that's where their intent lies, but they don't really understand the intent. It's more into their free will. You see, so there's a difference between all these things. They need to be defined accordingly. And yes, uh, many people have experiences. They see the light at the end of the tunnel. They they're out in the sunshine or whatever. But it's the recognition that's important because that sets uh, that sets with the intent to really decide to stand and be real with what all life is. And then from there, it's endless. It's ongoing. It's not just kaboom. You have one experience like uh, Buddha under the banyan tree, whatever. It's like, oh, I have enlightenment. Well, enlightenment really uh, is something uh, in creation only. This is the knowledge and whatever that uh, you uh, can understand things a lot better, which is a step also. And so um, the best part of this, and I look at my experience through all of this and even back through Ekankar, there was always that unknown part that really, uh, you might say, intrigued me that I was, and I even did paintings on it uh, in the past, and one lady really liked it. It was really nothing but just a kind of a blur and a wave of light. And this one lady, I remember that was, oh, gee, that was in the 70s, uh, because I saw this aspect of it and how Paul had uh, described his uh, journey in the tiger's fang and this really intrigued me this um, unknown these unknown realities that existed in this isness uh, he didn't call it that at that time he had these different levels but it it always kind of haunted me and i was always intrigued by that uh, shapelessness 
of, uh, you know, what is, suppose, uh, as according to, you know, what we experience here. And it has taken a lot of years to finally, uh, you know, get to that point to be able to recognize that focus, have the intent for it and all that. That's uh, it's really huge uh, to to really even start to be able to do that. So as we encounter others, and yes, we see that, oh, they have like like Kevin's experiences, which are terrific and uh, encounters all these beings. And we do, too. I do on the real side. Tell them God, whatever. And it's like, whatever. Uh, you know, it seems like, oh, these are very powerful beings or whatever. That's because we've been literalized to think in those terms. And it's the thinking process, et cetera. And this is where people get carried away also. Uh, with the experiences they have and uh, thinking that there are others that are higher ups or on different levels and all these things. Realistically, with all life, no, it's not so. But in creation, it would seem to be so. And so as these individuals step up, even though they have these abilities and they're willing, you know, like a yoga teacher or, uh, you know, uh, anybody else or a trainer or whatever, therapist, psychologist, whatever, doesn't mean that all of a sudden, uh, you know, even though they want to, uh, they do the new you and they want to step up, this is still a huge process for them. And they do have certain abilities within creation. And this is where Reeves are and the boys come along and they look for these individuals, if they will, to help out uh, because we all need help. We all need, we all help each other in our own particular way. And so your experience here, uh, Jeremy, is really cool because, again, this is, uh, you know, I remember when I took the rod of power, the wave was almost as big as the sky as I looked up as I was standing on the shore. And I wondered, gee, am I going to survive this? It was so freaking huge. And so, uh, yeah, as the waves come, uh, you know, along as life decides what's next for us to experience, yes, our part and we have to decide that all the way because uh, we have the presentation of the knowledge right now better than it's ever been uh, to recognize this and take the time to do that. That recognition is very, very important. That would that is what places your real awareness uh, with this true reality of life. And in this experience, you're given the objective view. Now, I'm not going to say what the two sons mean. This is something that each person will decide to recognize for themselves. I already know what they mean. Uh, and it's awesome. And I remember that part in 2000, the movie 2010 by uh, Stanley Kubrick, uh, where Roy Schreider is sitting in, I think it's a spaceship or somewhere in his office. And he sees Dave, who was is an apparition uh from the first movie, uh, the guy that was uh, one of the uh, astronauts, etc. And Roy looks over and he says, what's going to happen? You know, because they're seeing he's in the spaceship and it's gonna, he's seeing all these monoliths, uh, you know, conglomerating with each other, getting together. And it's like, what's going to happen? And Dave says something wonderful. But you got to see it. You have to recognize it. Yeah. And so we're giving everybody the opportunity and it is so precious. So again, uh, the idea is step one, compare everything that's been on the earth, everything you've been through just to the sun shining. Can you see the difference? And in that difference in seeing that difference, there is a very important recognition there. You got to recognize it to get to the next step. Otherwise, all you'll see is light. And what is that? And that's where we all is. And so step by step, we're recognizing, we're learning to recognizing the isness we're in so that we can be in it like we are in the physical body. You see, that's what's very, very important. And you can't figure it out with your mind. It is that awesome uniqueness that each one of us is and that is to recognize what's real. And this is huge. And so, yes, Jeremy, your experience is exceptional. I'll make a group out of it. I suggest you do, too. 
Thank you so much.